Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Time for another round in the United States where my best score is 20,167 points. This is a really a map set that I would like to get full a uh, full score on one day, but uh, the US does tend to be quite hard as you get landed in the middle of of nowhere a lot of the time. Uh, and I'm also partial to a time limit to keep things moving. So let's say three minutes moving around, moving aloud and start the game. Okay, well this looks interesting. Uh, we've got some some pretty big hills here actually, doesn't it? I have a feeling we're out west, at least that would be my initial guess. Um, I do find it amazing sometimes how the image quality in the US isn't very good and just Google being from Google being from the US you would imagine that they they would, you know, work on that a bit. But um anyway, um Let's progress. Quite a big town, actually. We've got some big rolling hills to the east here. In fact, we're surrounded pretty much on all sides uh, by by rolling hills. So I'm feeling sort of Pacific Northwest at the moment being an being an option. Um, who knows though? Who knows without without a, a sign for sign of any kind of town where we might be. I'm not sure. Let's keep this does look like a pretty main road that we're on, so let's keep going. Just gonna keep exploring I think a bit down here. Left right, left right, and see see what we have. In fact I can't go left there, so I feel like we're coming to the end of the town here a little bit. What is down here? Town of Afton. Ooh, that the writing, the image. Afton Utilities Department. Okay, so we know we are in the town of Afton. Where is Afton? We've got a minute left on the clock, um, and here we are. We're in. We're coming into the main, the main strip, shall we say? So. This is good. Uh, quick look left and right, and I think we'll go this way. It looks like there's a bit more here. Um, oh, and the image quality has improved. So, will we get a road name? Um, what is this? Afton, Wyoming. Yes, let's get in there. Brilliant. It doesn't get better than that. Uh, where is Wyoming? This is Wyoming. Uh, okay, do we see it? Jackson, Dubois, Cody, Powell, Grable, Buffalo. I I have a suspicion that it's going to be a little more. Let's go for the hills. We know we know that we're in the hills, so um, you know that there's quite a lot around here. So Dubois, uh, Thane. I'm going to put a safety pin down here on the 191. Uh, are we perhaps in here? Daniel, Pinedale, Boulder, Marbleton, Big Piney. I don't see anything. The time's running out. Um, oh, we were close. Oh, look at this. Okay. Well, where were we? We were. We put a pin down actually in Yellowstone National Park, but we were not quite there. We were just by. There it is. There is Afton. And look, you can see the mountains to our east. So, uh, we were right to employ that tactic to some extent. I don't know if they're mountains strictly, but they're 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 pretty pretty sizable hills. So there we go. Afton, Wyoming. We saw it. Next round. Okay, we've got a street name here, Pine Island Drive. That uh sort of has a kind of name I would imagine a place in Florida to have. Don't know why, it just does. Southeast builders, quality homes and no address there for the business and I don't you know unfortunately I'm not not too familiar with the US uh, phone numbers and you know you can you can deduce obviously from there where where you are sometimes but um there's no way I'm going to learn all of those so yeah this this does look this has a kind of a Florida feel to me I think um, just it looks hot <laughs> and uh, you know the the, 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 the sky is kind of filled with clouds and I don't know why that just sort of always reminds me of, of Florida so uh, I'm going with there if, if nothing else at the moment let's get to this main road see what we can see here 
something Cove Beach, that's okay. Um, let's just, um, and we'll have to remember this should we ever get to a point where we, uh, Corbin Park Road. And th did that say US 44? SR44, I don't quite know what that means, unfortunately. Uh, let's just progress down here. We've got a minute and 40 seconds left on the clock, so keen to keep going. Um, SR44, something road, that, that is. Um, you know, you get different types of roads in... in oh, why does it do that to me? Come on. Different types of roads in the US, uh, like farm-to-market roads, all that kind of thing. This is SR44. Still says it here, and then Eddie Road. Uh, so I'm not sure. NSB Stores, Big Shot. This is just kind of quite a generic, uh, generic shopping district now. We're not. We're in pretty residential area with the. You know, clearly there's this main road here with the shops. I don't know about SR44. I'm still not sure about that. McDonald's, very good. Unfortunately, you know they don't say where they are. Um, what does this say? Give me a sign. Daytona State College, NSB. Okay, there is a Daytona in Florida, so I'm going to go for it. Uh, where is Daytona? Daytona Beach, yes sir. Okay, uh, I don't know about 44. I'm going to put down a safety pin here. I see a 92, a 5A. 1A. Um, what does it say again? NSB campus. I don't see any kind of college here. So look, I'm going with the middle of Daytona. This isn't, let's put it there. Oh, I shouldn't have moved it. I just moved it a bit further up. Oh, well, well, look, we were very close in the right neck of the woods there with the Daytona really helped. Um, where is NSB? I don't see it. But I think we, we found our way down Corbin Park Road uh, to the 44, actually, which is there. Yes, okay, excellent. So, uh, and there was the McDonald's where we ended up in the end. So we ended up around here. Uh, as for the college, I don't quite see it, actually. But um, anyway, I'm sure it's there. Play next round. Another another pretty good round there, to be honest. I'm quite happy with how this is going. Uh, I shouldn't speak too soon, because this one looks tough. Um, okay nothing immediately around us. Let's progress in the direction with which we were initially aligned and we are heading north. This could be anywhere as far as I'm concerned. We're now heading northwest. I shouldn't skip by these places you know so quickly because they do you know there might be a clue that you know in each one of them, but I didn't didn't see anything, so not sure. What is this? Okay, we're coming to another road. Oh, seem to have been turned around a bit. I think we crossed it. This is the one that we came to here. I'm not sure at the moment. This this really could be anywhere. So in in need of clues. Quite large plots of land, aren't they? I mean, they, look at this. This is absolutely ginormous. This could be this could be anywhere as far as I'm concerned from from Pennsylvania to to Texas. Um or or, or even further. I mean, even that's only half of the US. Um what was that? Was that a sign? No, I think it was just those orange gates that I was looking at there. So with a minute and 16, it's going to be tough unless we've got to cr come across something here. There is a lot going on. Like there's lots of businesses, it seems, farms, you know. This looks like a pretty major road through the, through the area. Um... That's not going to give as much as a clue. We need a much bigger clue at the moment than some uh, road name for a dusty, dusty 
road, don't we? Let's get after it. Ten more seconds of looking here. This is a big stretch ahead of us, so unless we make it to the horizon, we are not going to find it. In this sort of situation, you know, I don't know what to do. I, I don't think we're in the west. We're not in Hawaii or Alaska, so let's go somewhere in the east. We've got 15 seconds here. Um, you know, it, it could be, as I said, any. we could be anywhere, you know, from, from San Antonio up to Maine, frankly, so I'm not sure. I'll put us in the middle. Let's go with North Carolina, uh, just outside of Ashboro here. And, you know, we were nowhere near. Uh, where were we? So we were in Missouri. Okay. By, by Columbia. Um, you know, I'm not sure what, what road we were on or exactly what direction we were progressing in there. I think we'd, we'd come up here and then we were going north up here. So really, we, you know, we started in the wrong direction. Perhaps we might have come across the 40. Um, but, you know, who knows. Next round. Just got to chalk those ones up to luck, I'm afraid. If you start off in the wrong direction. This looks very similar. So <laughs> it could be the same place. If, if I don't find any clues again, I will just do that. Oh, let's go back. Now, there was a clue there, so we can't ignore that. Town line entering Westfield. Okay, great. So we're entering a town. That's helpful. Good to know. Uh, we know its name is Westfield, so we're just looking for the next for the next clue. Um, you know, which could be could be in the form of a school or a fire department or police station or something like that. You know, um, the the geography looks similar to our previous location, actually. As do the trees. Maybe this is a little more northern because. You know, you can see there. It's kind of clearly the the fall. I think the the leaves are changing. Some some trees are without leaves. This is a pretty major road, and I haven't yet seen a road number on it. Um, that would also be of help. We don't know why we seem to go backwards just then. Come on, keep going. For Gillen for Sheriff. Westfield was the name of the town. I think it was Westfield. Is this a sign? No, it's a house. And, you know, there is something in the distance, so I, I'm, I'm just progressing towards that. Yeah, we're, we're definitely in a more northern northern location here because of those barns. The barn roofs are shaped for snow. Um, so, you know, don't get those in the south. But that could still mean we're in sort of central USA where, you know, they get just pretty bitter winters still, even, even quite far south. So, look, have found absolutely no clue uh, where we are. So I'm going to go with the same, with the same uh, thing. Uh, why, why don't we say Indiana... Uh, there. Bedford, near Bed. Well, we know we're not in Bedford, so let's go just outside of Bedford, Indiana, uh, and say that we're somewhere there. Um, we're not, obviously, but we're. Oh, <laughs> look at this! Obviously, we're not. We were up in Maine. I mean, we were really at the extremity, actually, on the border of of Canada. So this is great. I don't think I've ever had a a place in Maine before. And again, you can see, you know, we were approaching Westfield, but had we gone the other other way, we might have found Mars Hill, uh, which is quite a unique name. And, and it seems to me, even though we were approaching Westfield, we were still never actually going to get there because we were on the one. I never saw the one, the number one, um, which would have helped, to be honest. So uh, let me know if you did. But uh, another relatively unsuccessful round there. In fact, I would say that that was, that was pretty poor. Let's play the final round and see if we can redeem ourselves. Uh, it's going to be tough with this. Um, we are in the middle of nowhere. It looks pretty flat. So 
let's see, and we're riding, it looks like sunset to me, but um, yeah, the sun is behind us in the west, so we're overtaking this car. Even the camera, that camera angle is pretty jaunty here, isn't it? So, uh, way more of a desert kind of uh, environment. There was a home there, so that's that's interesting. Yep. No sign, unfortunately, of, of any location. Still heading northeast now. more easterly actually and uh, look I'm not going to do this forever let's give it uh, 15 more seconds shall we and uh, go for a guess if if not um, funner sometimes I think to look at the map and, and imagine and guess than it is to uh, spend just acres of time reloading the map look in fact we can see that the road ahead of us is so far let's just try and read this tiny little sign here and see if there's anything interesting on it but um, I think it honestly might be a bit tough. Yes, it is, unfortunately. So, where do we think we are? I think we're in... This looks like, you know, this is how I imagine Kansas, basically. Um, East-west roads, lots of, lots of uh, farm, arable land here which has been farmed. Extremely flat. Kansas is famously quite flat. And, you know, not much else uh, in, in the way to look at. So why don't we say we are on this road here, uh, on the four between Healy and Shields. Let's go for a guess. Oh, not a, not a million miles off. We were actually in Oklahoma. This uh, part here of Oklahoma extends over Texas. And uh, we were going in the direction of Felt, away from Boise City. So there you go. Um, Look, I think uh, fair to say on the last three rounds we would have um, we would have uh, done a little better had we gone the other direction in, in all three cases. So uh, there we go. But that, that's something that is just down to luck, really. One and two, quite successful. Enjoyed Wyoming. We really found the the both the town name and the state all in one place there at the end. And with Florida, that was good deduction. I think very happy with that. Uh, going with Daytona. The other three. You know, mix, mixed bag, but uh, such is life uh, when you play rounds in the US, I think. On the whole, I really enjoyed it. I hope you did too. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next video.